Hey Jace, welcome back to my Mob Psycho 100 reactions. We are now at the end of season 1. This is season 1 episode 12. Where last time, first of all, I think you're gonna hear some doggos because uh, there's two of them right there in the other room and they're playing around. So yeah! Um, last time, I think Reagan is dead. I don't think they're gonna kill Reagan. Reagan is such a great character that I don't think they're gonna kill him. Okay? Uh, secondly, Mob uh, has murderous intent, which is probably going to be a very powerful and yet very destructive emotion for him to have at whatever percent. It's gonna be scary if that happens, but it seems like... I don't know, since Reagan is hurt, he might go berserk. Wait, that rhymed. Anyways, uh, so there's something I said about the sword thing. Apparently, I said the same thing about the fight with Teru Teru. Because I rewatched some of the first episodes of this because I took a break because of the sick. The sick, the big sick before. It's, I'm all okay. I'm all okay now. I'm all better, immunized, and everything. So, uh, I rewatched some of the episodes up to episode. Uh, eight or seven, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I forgot a lot of things apparently. But I don't know. After this uh, episode reaction and discussion, <laughs> after this episode's reaction and discussion, I'm gonna give us this a score. The first season a score. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. <sighs> Last fight. Also, it's by... I forgot the name. I had it written down, but I... Oh, no. I... It's a different... No. Ah, the guy responsible... Well, not really responsible. He uh, had. He was the animation director for a lot of really, really good One Punch Man stuff. Uh, including him being... Having a lot of credit for... The Boris fight at the end of season one. Also, I haven't watched season two of One Punch Man. I might react to that. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I'm excited and kind of scared. I don't want Reagan to die. Uh, I'm looking at the first frame and it's freaking Qual Leader being scary because it's scary. Let's do this. It's gonna be two. <laughs> it's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture in picture version, which you can find in the description below, and a sign based version, which you're watching right now. You know what? I'm gonna fix my life. If you want to sync up your image to the time-based version, you can do that with a 5 second counter that's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do and as you know, it's the same for you. Ah, freak. My video starts playing on my screen. Right? Better. Okay. Let's do this. Timer. I need to change this. Uh, audio. Japanese subtitle. English full. Uh, everything's recording. Okay. But timer, I had it muted. There's some awesome fights going on. She sounds like a woman. Yeah, but yeah, I talk about some. Okay. Nope. You're a kid. Don't kill anyone. And don't kill Regan, right? We're not gonna kill Regan. We're not gonna kill him. Oh no. Yup, this is the end of the last episode and okay. Berserk mode. Oh okay, we're gonna get the opening. I I Thunder. Woo! It's gonna get colder. So hot right now. But yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm hyped! Also, the last episode I was kinda hyped. So, <laughs> uh, just medicine that I have to take, so. It's not. It's, I didn't OD, it's just that. I'm just. Uh, aloof at that point, so I was having a hard time speaking and everything. But yeah, I recorded so many things back then as well, and regretted it the next day. I kind of wanted to there to not have 
a freaking OP. <laughs> And we just get the OP. What the fuck is that broccoli? <laughs> we just get the OP in the middle of the episode. Okay. Mitsukaru Takadaro! There we go. Let's do this. I'm excited. Okay. Leave it to master. What? What? Wait, 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 what? This is how I use. Because he's an unbeliever or something? What? What is going on? Is that? <laughs> what is going on? What is he actually? Mob, do something. Nothing. Did Mob pass out his power or something? Holy fucking shit! <laughs> what? I don't think so! Ah, what? What? This is awesome. This is beyond awesome. What is going on? Still exist. What if... Is gravity gonna affect you? What happened? Okay, okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna believe him more. <laughs> Yes! Wow! <laughs> Gratitude! Ah! Oh. 1000%! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, wow. He's safe. It's all okay. One ton punch. <laughs> Woo! Woo!
And he's just fine, isn't he? Are we not gonna see mob fight at all? That'd be kind of awesome if that's the case. What are you doing? <laughs> We're not showing him. We're not showing his face. <laughs> Punch! Oh no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, backstory. <laughs> okay. Nice, that is cool. Okay, not the story, the visuals. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh, oh! He's gonna say something really stupid or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gun! Oh, it's not a real gun. It's not gonna work then. <laughs> this is... What? It makes me look like a reference to... I forgot. Oh. Oh! Si Emotional damage! That's the one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Don't you react to them? Uh. Mm. Yes, this is the point of the opening! <laughs> it's the point of the opening! Oh, the story, this is the point. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a woman, sorry. You're just old. Same. It depends on what perspective you look at it. Um.
Who is this? You're changing it for the worse. This guy is made to be very dis unlikable. Yep. Like a Buddha or something. I guess his face. He would know. He would know. Okay, let's go. Oh no! Regan is out of mana! That is kinda scary. Nice. Kushaw! <laughs> Whoa! That's one way to do it. There we go, sorry about that. Last episode. Um Yeah I don't care if you kill this guy at this moment. Oh, call will continue? That's not the lyric point, yeah, okay. Because they thought it was rigging. Tada. It's Dimple. It's Dimple. It's Dimple! <laughs> Is that a fart sound effect? <laughs> Did you eat them? Okay. Yeah, without mob interfering. Oh, well, indirectly, but that's why we. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Stop it! Okay, that's the goal of this then. Nice. Yeah! Peaceful times. <laughs> peaceful, boring times. But peaceful nonetheless. What are you looking at? Oh. Okay. I don't get that. Sorry. Oh, it's crush. Huh? <laughs> this is probably going to be your love interest. I'm sorry. Or anything. <laughs> Who's this? Kids? Oh, it's this guy. Okay, okay, I see him now. It's the student council president. It's nice now. Oh, they confessed, okay. Does he not care anymore?
this one. Huh, that makes sense. Now you're stronger with the body improvement club as well. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Everyone's gotten their endings, I guess. Oh, Mob's here. He's still going. This is almost the same shot. Oh, like, it is the same shot. Help him! You have not? Just playing games. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> I guess. To get you kidnapped again! It is terror, right? <laughs> of course. Oh! That's... That's Reagan! Is that... No, the eyes. Never mind. I don't know. It is that alright? Okay. Okay. It is that alright? Yeah, it is that. Also, the eyes were ever so slightly different. But you see him! Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna rule the world! Mm. Spirits and such consultation office. Hmm, home rice. You did blue ball the audience, but I'm okay with that. That's different. Same conversation, same everything, okay. Nice! Oh! Sweet! So what was the fucking brawling? <laughs> mm hmm Peter? So he was inspecting the place, okay. So, not just claw? What the frick? Are, are we done? No, okay, good. What?
What is that? Snake? <laughs> Just... <gasps> the one quality. <laughs> what? We're doing... What? It's gonna be short, I think. Yeah, the art style is... <laughs> It's okay. What is it even? It's like a yokai? Ah, an uma, okay. I know Bigfoot and Nessie. I know. Yeah, you're gonna get lost. You're lost! <laughs> Stare, it's nice. Masutare <laughs> tastes nice! Ha <laughs> 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 Kaboom! And it's gonna be gross. What? <laughs> okay. What is this? Yeah, we have Matsutawa. It's good enough. We have Matsutawa. You stepped on one or something. There's a weird way to finish it. <laughs> I would expect this to be separate. Uh, that is it. I just expected this to be okay. That's all. Most episode. I was not expecting this. That's for sure. But uh, it's good. It's good. I just I swear more. And I think mob. Put it plain as day there when he said, Wow, did I do something really lame right right then and there? Like, uh, you didn't do anything stupid or bad. You just kind of blue balled everyone that's watching the show. But. <laughs> making Reagan fight of all people. Reagan is awesome. I mean, he did come to the conclusion, the correct conclusion, that it's thanks to Mob. And it's really dependent on his emotions, huh? So, his gratitude... Oh, so because it was a desire to kill at one point, he's probably going to just kill everyone then, there. Uh, including his friends. So, probably, it really depends on his emotions. Like, sorrow was different in the, the Tero fight. Rage was different. Kind of. And then... Gratitude does a very unique thing where it passes on the ability, the powers to someone, to the person he's grateful for. Interesting. I just didn't expect this. And I don't know what to talk about because this is cool and all, and there's some really cool animation, but there's better animation done in earlier episodes. And I, so I'm just kind of sad about that. Not really disappointed, just eh. I was expecting something. And everyone's just impressed with Reagan. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, this makes perfect sense actually, when you think about it. Because of one thing that Reagan said. This is Reagan upholding his principles right now. Yes, he did say that... Um, People who talk about world domination because of some petty differences that they had compared to other people are children and leave this to the adults, okay? And he personified that very thing. <sighs> so many cool things happening, fights, 
This is awesome. This, I'm gonna use this in uh in the thumbnail. That's awesome. Hmm. Uh, the well, ten. Okay, the bad guy, the main bad in this arc, I guess, the one with the mask, is very unlikable. It's like he's completely given up on trying to be a normal person and just using, maybe even using his powers for good. The pe the other people have actual backstories that they go to and reasons why they're doing this. They feel they felt safe. They felt better about themselves themselves when they were exhibiting power. <laughs> ah, they're basically looking down on people even though as Regan puts it, you're not special. You're the same as us. But they're looking down on the people similar to them because of something that is slightly different about them but can be compared to something like, as Regan said, singing, dancing, whatever. It's a talent. If you have that, but yeah, it's just very cool. And Reagan just putting that all of those ideals down, saying that, well, just look at me. The, the reality is, if everyone is not special, maybe you can be what you want to be. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very weird sentence when you think about it. If everyone is not special, maybe, maybe. because a more uh, cheesy thing way to say it would be if everyone is special we can be different and do different things and we'll all be awesome together but uh, I think that saying that is from a perspective of Reagan saying that none of us is different we're all humans there's some assholes out there doing shit because they think they're powerful enough they want to be they want to just have the limelight for us time in a speck of rock this vast universe and it's stupid it's very stupid we're not special none of us are but we can be it's like how do I, how do I say this how we don't just have things that we're good at give me a moment give me a moment what's the word for that uh, it's like I don't Yes, we're all similar, but we're different. Being different doesn't really mean make you special. I just like that so much for uh, various reasons. <laughs> I'm not very comfortable talking about it at the moment. Um, and he says something else. It's like, at fourth grade, I, I forgot to tell my parents to come to school and I was alone. It's like, that's your fault. Yeah. It is. And yeah, but I was lonely. Weren't you lonely when you were in the orphanage? It's, it's, a, it's another thing that I always tend to look at. That is, even if there's varying degrees of difficulties that we can experience as people, I think that one thing that a person can survive without anything, any of that affecting them can lead a person to disaster. Can lead a person to what? To doing very not nice things. <laughs> I don't know how to not say that they could hurt themselves. Let's go with that. <laughs> There's things that we, our brains work differently, but they don't really make us special. Just, just because you, uh, you had a sad backstory doesn't excuse you from villainy. That's another thing I like saying about any of the shows that I watch. It never excuses you from being a bad person. Does it make you a better character for that? Definitely. Because there's people that want to do similar things to you, but those people held back when they went through the same shit as you. <sighs> okay. Let's just make, make a mockery of them at this point. I, I think I think the guy that clones himself has, is referencing something with his, uh, with his outfit, right? I think he's referencing something. I don't know what. Yeah, look at that. Tero's eyes are slightly bigger than in. Okay. 
I think it depends on what emotion is expressing, yes. Stole them off. So the goal of the uh, this guy is I think he really wants to be the leader, not just of this division, huh? He's ugly as fuck, nothing to like about him at all. Like, maybe he has a sad backstory, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. At this point, it doesn't matter. You're doing terrible things that is kind of unforgivable. You look like, you know, I said it. Um, I kind of like Shaw because it's kind of cool. It's like, it's like the a rival character to Mob at this. <laughs> if this was a different show, he's gonna be like a rival to Mob. Maybe he's gonna be at some point. I don't know. Um, those are not black holes. Those are just balls you made with psychic powers. Which I was talking about that black holes would I if you create a black hole, it would either be so small that it's gonna disintegrate in a few seconds or in milliseconds, or <laughs> it's big enough that it'll cause devastation for at least an entire city. There's uh, it's kind of hard to go in between. And the Large Hadron Collider's already made very small black holes that they don't matter at all. Just disappear in nano, nano and milliseconds, depends on size. <laughs> I, I, I remember seeing that on uh, Facebook and people were freaking out. What the fuck were they doing there? It was, it was, this was after like 2010. Like 2010 people were like, people, are, they're gonna make black holes. Eh, it's gonna be the end of the world. And I think it was 2020 or something. There was there was people on Facebook in 2019 sharing a post like, oh they made black holes, what's gonna happen to us? Oh no, and it's like already made black holes for a long time now, and it said miniature. So small that it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> uh, there's so many pseudoscience surrounding black holes and I hate it because black holes are super interesting. <laughs> like the main reason black holes exist for so long in space is because they're massive as fuck. If they're super small, then hogging radiation, gone. <laughs> okay, there's only one monster left and it's Dimple. Dimple is a really powerful spirit. We keep forgetting that because of how crazy the other characters are. Uh, Everything's normal, everything's peaceful, great. He's ogling his crush again. You're gonna end up with this girl. Like, like we all know that, right? Right? Please tell me that's gonna happen. I like her. <laughs> in like uh I think I said this before, in like uh the dynamics can change quite a bit if she was incorporated into it a lot more. And it's really interesting. Let's talk about the endings for each character, because each of these characters have found some not really ending, they all found a new beginning for them. Ritsu now understood his powers and that he should only use it for good and should not hurt people with it. Teru is creating a resistance, I believe. <laughs> nice. Uh it's not really an end, it's new beginnings for them. School uh student council president is dogs barking. Okay, shut mm. up, bros. Ah. Give me a moment. There's a fucking politician campaigning outside, and I don't care. And the dogs are like, fuck these guys! You don't even know them! Uh, okay, what was I talking about? Student Council President uh, seems to have found a new beginning for him as well. <sighs> it's good. It's good. He had to be beat up, of course. Uh, I forgot the name of that guy. This guy. But yeah, uh, the, the delinquent. I like his take on this. Because it can be easily taken as all my friends are gone, which is what he said at first. But now it's taken as, huh, everyone apparently hated me. I don't want to be those people anymore. With these guys now, we're gonna work out. We're gonna get checked. 
And you know, you know that's the best way for bros to bound. Bond. Bond. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> Kageyama is still trying. He can kind of keep up now. It says Kenny. Slightly. Dogs are still barking. I'm sorry about that. I was just kind of confused by... Yeah! His eyes are slightly different. Also, thank you for cutting this video. It was a build, you know, not a build. Uh, an enemy. What else? Uh, I think that's it. What the fuck was there a broccoli in the opening? <laughs> because Temple looks like a broccoli. Maybe something in season two. Maybe somehow mob create vegetables with his psychic powers at some point and he turns Dimple into a vegetable. <laughs> no, if that would have happened, that would have happened in season one because of the opening. <laughs> and they're twins. Okay, this guy, okay, yeah, 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 big bad's coming. And we get a little, like, OBAI this special thingy. We were looking for an Uma that he apparently doesn't believe in, but Matsutake! Matsutake tastes nice. Go for it. I don't know any Umas like this. Uh, okay, uh, let's give this a score. <laughs> uh, burps. Let's give this a score. Let's okay. So animation and ah uh, animation. Let's leave art here. Characters, the plot, how the story, how the plot is told. Is that it? I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about here. Okay. So our animation. Uh, I would. I almost want to give it a ten. Almost. It's so close because the animation is really weird. Because it's a big mismatch, mish, mish, mash of kind of not well animated stuff and very, very well animated stuff. And also, not very good art in extremely vivid, fluid animation, which I find very interesting. It gives this, it gives a certain feeling that uh, a generally more conventional animation or art style would do which I think is really cool but there's an issue with why I don't want to give it a 10 and it's I honestly did not feel any hype in this in this last episode sorry sorry it's just and there's also episodes where hmm, I feel like so the way the animation is put together is, there's so many unnecessary ones that I kind of wanted them to go into this episode. I'm sorry, it's just not... I think the episode should have all good amounts of that kind of animation, especially for what they're trying to do. So it's a 9. The art! I love it! The mismatch of uh, one's art style and I forgot the other guy's name, sorry. That guy's art style. It's really cool. I like it. But to be honest, sometimes uh, I find the idea that we're supposed to laugh at these people for being ugly kind of corny. But it's okay. It's a, it's a good gag. It just Sometimes it just doesn't land very well. And I think that's one of the main points of having a lot of the... A lot of the extras. <laughs> the not so very important characters look like that. There's also... What is that? Oh yeah, sometimes a character would turn very ugly when they're very emotional, which is the exact opposite for Mob, and I love that. Yeah, it's nothing too impressive, but it's really good. It's nothing too impressive. I do love the very vivid colors whenever psychic powers are involved, especially Mob psychic powers, and especially earlier in the show, in the season. So nothing too amazing. 7.5. Sorry. Is it characters? I love the characters. Uh, uh, an issue I have with this is a lot of them are not very relatable. Regan is an amazing character. He's very fun to watch, but 
I guess that's pretty much it. I just like watching Reagan. Nothing more. I can't really feel a connection to Reagan all that much. It's like I would probably be sad if he died at that point, but no. But uh, I would actually cry if I don't know Ritsu died in front of Mob. So yeah, Ritsu and Mob, the Kageyama brothers, are very relatable in very meta ways. Mob is especially with their dynamics being liking, uh, wanting what each other what each other do not have. Uh, yeah. So, but there's more characters to that, and we don't really focus always on Mob and Ritsu. And whenever we focus on Reagan, half the time it's jokes, which are cool and all. I love them. I laugh so much at them. But that's it. I can't really find anything else than that. So I'm sorry. This is gonna be lower. <laughs> sorry, it's a six. Maybe once well, they're better developed. The next season will have better score for the characters. Next is the plot. Uh, okay. I like the plot. I like the plot. Uh, we're saving the world from world dom from being dominated by Claw, right? Okay, that's that's pretty much the overarching narrative. And we started this off with just Mob and then Ritsu, and we're just entering those people into this into our minds, our hearts, and just kind of developing them very well by saying that Mob is like this, he thinks like this, which I wouldn't really consider part of the plot entirely, but I would consider it part of how the story is told. Okay, so plot is pretty good, but it's kind of generic to be honest. Uh, I should also actually, mm, yeah, it's kind of generic, but it's good. It's a good kind of generic. Seven. Okay, we're gonna do freaking the how the story is told. The plot is uh, laid out for us. The plot was really well, well put together. I gotta say, first few episodes felt so good to me. Even though, yes, they are kind of slow, they are kind of episodic. I love it because we get to learn about these characters in such interesting ways. Like with that one time where a spirit tells Mob that you're also a loser like me, aren't you? And that's kind of what led Mob into wanting to improve himself. Which led to Ritsu and led to... There's so many things that led to that and it's amazing. It's really good. Because even though we are just developing these characters for us to be more attached to them, to like them a lot more so that when we're in the story where we're beating up the bad guys for the first time, we actually care about them, but all those points in time where those things happen, there's there's actual continuation there, and it works wonders, and I love that. Okay, a lesser show would have a difficult time doing that because this is kind of a comedy. It is a comedy. It is a comedy, but it's also action shot and all that, and because it's comedy, you might just put in skits that don't really matter, but pretty much everything here matters to some extent. And I really like that. So this is gonna have a higher score. It's gonna be an eight. Okay, let's add. Oh wow, I did not put them together properly. Okay, it's gonna be a five, uh, 16, 24, 31, 39, 39.5, 39 that's Wait, I don't think that's right. Give me a moment, I'm gonna get a calculator. <laughs> because I'm the big dumb. <laughs> uh, a lot of the times I just have a hard time focusing, to be honest. It's okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Plus six. Plus seven. Plus eight. 37.5. I was very close. <laughs> I was very close. I was very close. So 37.5 divided by 5. 7.5. Round up 8. Wow, I'm giving Mob an 8. That is a higher score than I thought I would give it. I thought I would give this like a 6 or a 7. It's an 8. I'm giving this an 8. Huzzah! It's an 8. <laughs> uh, this, the animation part saved it so much. Okay, 
that's it for me for now. Uh, we're gonna watch the next season next week. If you wanna see the next episode's reaction and discussion, you can do that with the Patreon link below. Like the video if you liked it. You know, all that jazz. Subscribe to the channel. Da -da -da -da. Bye.